easy now. I'm gonna be free or die. What if an injury that caused you to fall asleep unexpectedly became your greatest weapon? That's exactly what Harriet Tubman did. After being struck on the head with a two pound weight, she developed a serious brain condition. Instead of letting it hold her back, she used it to stage epic getaways, freeing hundreds from slavery. How did she escape slavery herself? What ingenious tactics did she use to outsmart those hunting her? So, picture this. It's the early 1820s in Dorchester County, Maryland, and a baby girl named Araminta, Minty Ross, is born into the brutal world of chattel slavery. She's the fifth of nine kids, and right from the get-go, life is anything but easy. Two of her older sisters are sold off to a chain gang, and young Minty is hired out by various owners who, unfortunately, are big fans of whipping and punishing. Now here's where things take a dramatic turn. One day, Minty gets hit in the head with a two-pound weight thrown by an overseer. Ouch. This nasty injury leaves her with narcolepsy, a condition that sticks with her for life. Narcolepsy is like your brain's idea of a practical joke messing with your sleep-wake cycles. Imagine being so tired during the day that you might doze off during a meeting or faceplant into your lunch. To add to the fun, it can also bring along cataplexy, where your muscles decide to take a nap too, sleep paralysis, where you're stuck in place like a human statue, and some vivid, sometimes spooky hallucinations. Because of this, her owner decides she's unsellable and puts her to work with her dad, Ben Ross. Working alongside her father, Minty learns all about lumbering, where which not only makes her physically strong, but also introduces her to free black sailors. These sailors share some pretty top secret info about covert communications along trade routes, knowledge that would become super important later on. Fast forward to 1844 and Minty marries John Tubman, a free black man. She takes her mom's name and rebrands herself as Harriet. When her owner dies in 1849, Harriet fears being sold away from her family. So she makes a bold move. Inspired by whispers of the Underground Railroad, a secret network for escaping enslaved people, Harriet heads for Pennsylvania, following the North Star, and bam, her perilous journey began. Harriet had some clever tricks up her sleeve, thanks to old quilt codes and catchy songs that secretly pointed out safe houses and directions. She even got a hand from a friendly Quaker woman, Mrs. Cook, who kicked off her escape with some vital tips and resources. Starting her journey at night from Poplar Neck Plantation in Maryland, Harriet navigated through forests and rivers like a nighttime ninja, always dodging slave catchers. She became a pro at hiding, using hollowed out logs, caves, and the homes of brave free black families and abolitionists who helped her out despite the risks. Harriet had some hair-raising close calls, like crossing a deep river without knowing how to swim. She probably thought, well, if I walk on water, at least I'll make a splash in history. Once, she hid in a pig pen for days, covered in mud to evade patrollers. Talk about going whole hog for freedom. After weeks of grueling travel, she finally made it to Pennsylvania, a free state. When she reached Pennsylvania, she looked at her hands, half expecting them to be glowing. She later said the sun shone like gold through the trees, and everything felt like a slice of heaven. But Harriet doesn't stop there. She returns to the South not once, not twice, but 13 times to rescue her family and others, earning the legendary nickname Black Moses. She teams up with abolitionists and helps countless enslaved people escape, first to the North and then to Canada. But wait, there's more. Remember that head injury Harriet had as a kid? It didn't just cause her narcolepsy. It also triggered vivid and prophetic visions, which she believed were divine inspiration. These visions weren't just random dreams, they guided her during her missions on the Underground Railroad. Harriet felt they gave her supernatural insight into the safest routes and best times to move. Her unwavering faith in these visions made her even more fearless and determined, turning her into a nearly unstoppable force against slavery. We all know she was a total legend, but did you know her narcolepsy brought some pretty bizarre and dangerous challenges? Imagine this. She could fall asleep suddenly and without warning, even in the middle of a perilous mission. Instead of seeing it as a setback, Harriet and her followers believed these episodes were moments of divine protection. And guess what? She never lost a single passenger on her Underground Railroad journeys. 
Many credited her unique condition and the spiritual guidance she believed it provided. Harriet was a total pro at playing dress up and fooling people. Picture this, she'd transform into a sweet old lady, complete with a bonnet and a shawl, and just waltz into a town where she was a known fugitive. She'd confidently buy supplies right under the noses of those hunting her. It's like she was playing the ultimate game of hide and seek and she always won. Her knack for switching up her look and acting the part was like a superpower, helping her outsmart her pursuers every single time. All right, let's talk about how awesome Harriet was during the Civil War. She was a total baddie. As a nurse and spy for the Union Army, she didn't just keep up her underground railroad work. She showed off her tactical genius. She teamed up with Colonel James Montgomery to plan and pull off the daring Compahee River Raid, freeing over 700 enslaved people. This amazing raid made her the first woman to lead an armed assault during the Civil War. She totally messed up the Confederate supply lines and gave a big boost to the Union Army. After the Civil War, Harriet didn't just sit back and relax. No, she kept on fighting for what was right. She opened the Harriet Tubman Home for the Aged in Auburn, New York, to care for elderly African Americans. This was partly funded by the sale of her biography by Sarah H. The home showed her never-ending commitment to helping others and her deep compassion for improving people's lives. In 1896, she rocked the stage at the founding convention of the National Association of Colored Women and on a women's suffrage meeting in Rochester, New York. She proudly declared, On my Underground Railroad, I never ran my train off the track, and I never lost a passenger. Talk about a mic drop moment. Even when she had greatly advanced in age, Harriet had some amazing moments in her life. When she was in her 90s, she had to have brain surgery at a big hospital in Boston because of the injuries she got when she was a kid. And guess what? She didn't even use anesthesia. Nope, she bit down on a bullet like some kind of Wild West cowboy. Can you imagine? Talk about hardcore, Harriet was seriously one tough cookie. Harriet Tubman's legacy only grew stronger over the years. In 2016, the U.S. Treasury announced that her image would appear on the redesigned $20 bill. How cool is that? She passed away on March 10, 1913 at the age of 91 with her final words biblically and quite beautifully summing up her life's mission. I go away to prepare a place for you. Harriet had a pretty wild life, full of crazy challenges, but she never let anything get her down. She could handle anything because she believed in herself, stayed super determined, and had a strong faith. Harriet Tubman's story isn't just about being a hero and saving people, it's also about having amazing visions, being super intelligent, and always fighting for what's right. In the big story of history, Harriet Tubman's name means bravery and freedom. The really strange and unusual parts of her life show how amazing and strong she was. She had prophetic visions, sometimes fell asleep out of nowhere, used clever disguises, and even had military adventures. Harriet's life was full of courage, clever ideas, and strong faith. Her story still inspires people today, showing that even when things get really weird and tough, we can do incredible things. Fascinated by Harriet Tubman's incredible journey? Don't miss out on more amazing stories and historical adventures. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, with courage and determination, anything is possible.